Hey there, Andy Black here and thank you for stopping by this video. Now today I'm going to show you how you can create content for your sites and blogs for literally any topic or niche with very little writing involved. And not only am I going to show you how to create this content, I'm also going to give you a copy, a free copy of a software that I've developed and that I've been selling for the last few years at full price and you're going to get a copy today absolutely free of charge. Okay, so I'm going to jump onto my computer now and show you how you can create this content. Okay, so this is my software content constructor. In fact, it's called Content Constructor Pro because it's got the Pro upgrade. And this is the exact same software and the same version that I'm going to be giving you a free copy of today. So I'm just going to give you a little rundown of how this software works and how you can use it to create some content that will rank in Google, that will get indexed, and that can actually bring you traffic. So let's take some keywords for example. Let's say we want to create some content on um, dog grooming. So we might type in something like uh, dog grooming um, is. And let's say we want to just bring back say, uh, we'll leave that 20 sentences, okay? And this section here, this uh, menu here will allow you to um, tell the software how fresh this content wants to be. So if it's on a subject that is changing all the time with technology or something like that, then you might want to reduce it to you know content within that's been published that year or that month. But I'm going to leave this set to published anytime. Okay, so I'm going to let Google basically return the snippets of content um, that it thinks is the most suited. So I'm going to also type in the same keyword again. I'm going to put something like dog grooming um, cam. So you notice here that we've got like lots of little um, verbs that we can um, select that will help the software identify contextual sentences and snippets that we can include within our article. Then we're going to have something like, um, I don't know, bathing your dog, because that's uh, related to dog grooming. Um, bathing your dog is, and again, we'll leave these settings the same. Um, bathing your dog um, will um, bathing your dog um, will do can there and then we're going to have something else I don't know something like um, brushing your dog is we'll leave it at that so we can select whatever you want as long as uh, the option that we choose here flows nicely with the keyword that we use okay so all we're going to do then is click find some facts and we're going to let the software do its thing and start retrieving snippets of content from all around the web that we can use within our article so what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to pause this video and i'm going to come back when the software has finished finding this content Okay, so just while the software is doing its thing and uh, fetching all of these snippets of content for us, I just wanted to also explain that this software is great for creating content for SEO purposes. So if you do link building or you are wanting to create a, a some kind of guest post or you're doing some Web2 properties or anything where you might need to put some content together, some textual content to include your backlinks within, this software is also perfect for that. Okay, so the software has retrieved all of the snippets for me to um, form my article. Um, as you can see here, available snippets 95. I could have uh, returned more if I um, set it to return more. But uh, again, this is just for a quick overview of how this works. And if I scroll down, you can see all the different snippets. Now, not all of these snippets are going to be useful. Um, they're not going to be all snippets that I want to include within my article, but it's just going to give me the choice for me to quickly scroll through and then basically uh, drag into my article. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to pause the video, uh, quickly spend just a couple of minutes forming an, an article, and then I'm going to come back to it. Okay, so I have just spent literally two minutes and just selected a number um, of snippets um, that look suitable and drag them into my article area and um, you can see here there's 331 words okay and that literally just took me two minutes um, something else something else I would say uh, or recommend that you do is add a little intro sentence or two at the start of your article that just introduces your your viewer to 
um, the content in your article, maybe highlight what it's about, and also maybe have a call to action or a conclusion at the end of, of the article. So I'm gonna just do that now quickly. Um, also, um, a lot of these sentences will might seem a little repetitive because they might start with, for example, in this exam, in this example, we'll start with dog grooming is, dog grooming can, dog grooming also, um, baffing your dog is, baffing your dog will, etc. So what you can do is every sort of second sentence we can replace uh, dog grooming with um, it. You know, it is, it will, it can. So your overall article will sound more natural. So I'm just going to spend. Uh, just a minute or two and do that now. So I'm just gonna pause, pause this video quickly. Okay, so I've done that. So what I've done here is I have just manually typed in one sentence uh, that will introduce the article. So all I've used is in this article, we are going to take a close look. I'm sorry, in this article, we are going to take a look at the importance of bathing and grooming your dog. And then at the end of the article, um, I have included, I hope that you enjoyed reading this article and now understand why it is important to keep your dog clean and tidy for both your benefit and theirs. So that sort of concludes the article. Now this is 376 words. Obviously, I could have spent another minute or two and doubled that figure, even quadrupled that figure if I want to have a longer article. I could maybe bring in some other subtopics, uh, you know, like how to how to cut the dog, um, how to uh, trim nails, things like that. So we could really build this article out if we want, wanted to do that. Okay, what we would do then is we can export the article. So we just click this button here and it will export that article there. And if I click open data folder, we can see um, that the article is, I'll just drag it over so you can see. So you can see here, got the article there. Um, if I just change out the word map, you can see that's a better view of it so you can see. So we can copy and paste that um, that wording there and place that text on a blog, um, on a site where we're building backlinks, um, a web two property, um, literally anywhere, anything that we wanna do with it, maybe in a YouTube video listing, uh, something like that. Um, another thing we can do, if we wanna, if we, you know, if we spend time collating a lot of snippets where we could potentially end up with a few hundred snippets of content, we might want to export those sentences so that we can import them in the future and create more articles. And to do that, we will just click export sentences. And again, um, those sentences uh, will be there as well, okay? So, um, and to import sentences, all we would do is um, we would go to the dashboard and basically browse for our file here and then import. Okay, and what I also want to do is show you um, quickly some proof that this software does get results. I'm not just talking about getting indexed in Google. I'm not just talking about being ranked in Google. I'm actually talking about bringing long-term traffic to your sites. Okay, so this is a sales page for my software, Content Construct. And I've been selling this for a few years now. Um, I have a lot of people using it. Again, you can get a free copy today by clicking the link in the description. Um, it's only available through this video. Um, but this is a sales page and you'll notice on here uh, and that there's uh, some examples and there's one here, the difference between life or printing and screen printing. Now, I created this little article quickly using Content Constructor. Um, just added a little bit of wording up the top and a little bit of wording at the bottom like I've just illustrated in uh, the quick demonstration I've given you. And this software ranks highly in Google and it brings in consistent daily traffic and these numbers can add up, okay? So I'm gonna show you the article on the actual site. This is just an old blog of mine and um, this you know, it has lots of all sorts of different test articles. It's not a particularly high quality blog by any means, but you can see here that I've got a title here which is the, um, the difference between life or print and screen printing. Um, this is basically the bit, again, you can see very similar to what I've done before in this article, we are going to talk, take a close look at the difference between life or printing and screen printing. Then this is the um, article content, which, which was all um, uh, drag and dropped from the software. And then um, I have just a, uh, I don't even know if I've got some closing content here or whether this was from the software as well. And then I just literally added a video from YouTube. It's not my video, it's just a, a relevant video, okay? Now, this was actually published, you can see here, November the 17th, 2015. So that is, in fact, to the day, that's a, a year. So hang on, let me work this out. That's four years and two days that this was actually um, published. 
And if I head over to um, this search window here, you can see, I mean, it ranks highly for a lot of keywords, but this is quite a broad keyword, life or printing versus screen printing in google.com. I'm not signed into Google. Uh, and you can see here um, that I'm actually ranked highly on page one. Okay, so this is a site here, articlewriterpro.com. This is my post. In fact, I'll just click search again so you can see. So just in case you um, think I've doctored that somehow, you can see there it is there, okay? Um, and what I'm gonna do is I just wanna show you some analytics. Um, so I'm gonna go back here. So this is uh, Google Analytics for this post here, okay? And you can see since this time, I mean, this it, it was ranked here, it was ranked highly, but for some reason, Google, or after a, an amount of time, um, has favored this article and it's probably ranking me for various other keywords. I've not really looked into that, but you can see here for quite a long time now, I've had a lot of consistent traffic coming um, through this page. And you can see here, unique page views. There's been nearly 1,900 unique page views from that one article. Now that one little article took me about two minutes to create. So that's two minutes to create on a subject I don't know a great deal about. And I've managed to attract all of these people from Google over this time. Now, what if I rinse and repeat this same process over and over and over again? How much traffic could I pull in then? So that is how you create content using a tool with very little writing and that can actually bring you real results. So to get a copy of this software, simply click the link in the description below this video, just enter an email um, and uh, you will be emailed a link to download and access this software. Now you can start using this software right away. You don't need any knowledge on any particular topic. You can just enter the keywords and then basically use the drag and drop functionality to form and craft your articles. Hope you enjoyed uh, watching this video and um, enjoy using the software.